This video is brought to you by Poolonomics. Chlorine and bleach are sometimes used interchangeably in the pool business, but are they really the same thing? In this video, you'll learn the difference between chlorine and bleach, whether you can use bleach in a pool and which one you should be using. Let's start from the top. Bleach is a weak liquid chlorine. Household bleach is simply water mixed with sodium hypochlorite, the active ingredient, at around 6% strength. This happens to be the same active ingredient in liquid chlorine, but more concentrated, typically between 10% and 12.5% in strength. Either way, the only real difference between the two is the concentration. Liquid chlorine is a strong bleach, and bleach is a weak liquid chlorine. Can you use bleach in a pool? Yes, you can use household bleach to sanitize your pool. However, some bleach products contain additives that aren't suitable for swimming pools, including fragrances and thickeners that cause foaming and other water quality issues, especially in large volumes. What's more, given the lower concentration of sodium hypochlorite, you'd need to use a fair amount of bleach to achieve the same sanitizing power you get with liquid chlorine. For example, it would take roughly twice as much 6% bleach to achieve the same level of sanitation 12.5% liquid chlorine would provide. Overall, while you can use household bleach to sanitize and even shock your pool, you'll need to make sure it contains no additives and be prepared to use a lot more substance than you're typically used to. Which one should you use? Just because you can use bleach in place of liquid chlorine, it doesn't necessarily mean you should. Household bleach is available on just about every street corner, which makes it an easy choice in a pinch, while liquid chlorine is often limited to pool stores, home improvement stores, and a handful of large department stores. However, while it is generally harder to come by, liquid chlorine is also easier to transport, store, and handle, because you don't need to buy as much. Ultimately, if you have access to liquid chlorine, it's considerably more convenient to use over bleach. But what about the cost difference? On a gallon-for-gallon -gallon basis, Bleach is often cheaper than liquid chlorine because it's sold in much lower concentrations. However, the reduced strength of bleach has to be accounted for. The cheaper product will depend on your region, the brand you buy, the store you buy from, and any bulk discounts or promotions that happen to be running. For example, you might find 12.5% liquid chlorine for $5 per gallon, while 6% bleach is only slightly cheaper at $4 per gallon. In that case, liquid chlorine would be the clear winner. Meanwhile, someone else might find the same 12.5% liquid chlorine at $9 per gallon, while 6% bleach is only $3 per gallon. In that case, buying twice as much bleach would work out much cheaper. Overall, if cost matters more than convenience, it's always worth running the numbers. What about other forms of chlorine? When we compare chlorine and bleach, we're only talking about liquid chlorine and not the other forms of chlorine. This is an important distinction because liquid chlorine, and by extension bleach, is very different to other forms. For example, the active ingredient in granular and tablet chlorine, trichlor, dichlor or calcium hypochlorite, ranges from 48% to as much as 90% strength and is usually dissolved in a bucket before use. Trichlor and dichlor chlorine is also stabilized, meaning it contains cyanuric acid to protect it from breaking down in sunlight, while calcium hypochlorite contains calcium. Neither of these ingredients is found in liquid chlorine. Both forms of chlorine will also significantly influence the pH level of your water, usually negatively, while bleach and liquid chlorine only marginally and temporarily raise your pH level. So there you have it, a complete breakdown of chlorine and bleach, how they differ, and more importantly, the similarities between them. Check the description below for links to our full companion article, along with supporting articles for many of the points discussed in the video. We also have a free downloadable and printable checklist to help with your pool maintenance schedule. You can get it for free at poolonomics.com slash checklist. That's all from us. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for all things pool care.